Hello everybody, it's Gaz here from EnglishWithGaz.com. How are you doing today? Let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm going to explain what this common English idiom means. If you're learning English and you want to learn new vocabulary, phrases, idioms and slang to help you sound more natural and feel more confident when you're speaking English, then start now by clicking the subscribe button and joining my YouTube community. Also, don't forget to click the little bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. Okay, let's get into today's video and get into something is a phrasal verb which means let's look at something or let's begin something. So let's get into it. Today's idiom is to twist someone's arm. Now twist is like this, I'm twisting my arm, I'm twisting. Twist is a verb, to twist something. So I'm going to give you an example, listen up and see if you can understand what this means from the context of the example. It goes as follows. My friend calls me on the phone and says, Gaz, are you coming to the pub tonight? This is a world where coronavirus doesn't exist, obviously. And I say, no, sorry, I'm skint. Skint is a slang word in English which means I have no money. It doesn't mean I'm bankrupt, which means physically zero money. It just means I don't have much money. In American English, they use the word broke. In British English, we say skint. So I tell my friend on the phone, no, sorry, I'm skint. And he says, come on, I'll buy you a drink. So I say, okay, thanks. You've twisted my arm. See you at seven. So in this case, my friend twisted my arm. All this means is that he or she convinced me or persuaded me. These are both verbs which mean to basically make somebody do what you want them to do. So in this case, my friend persuaded me to come and have a drink at the pub. So that's all this idiom means. To twist somebody's arm means to make them do something that they really don't want to do. I'll give you a few more examples. We don't always say this expression ourselves about ourselves. In fact, we often say it if we're talking about trying to get somebody else to do what we want them to do. For example, I'm a manager in a McDonald's and somebody has phoned in sick, they're ill, they can't come to work. So I speak to my supervisor and I say, hey, we're going to need somebody to work extra tonight, to work overtime. Will you ask Pamela? Hmm. The supervisor says, well, I know Pamela has something to do after work, so I don't think she'll stay, but I will try and twist her arm. I will try and convince or persuade Pamela to work the extra hours. This is twisting somebody's arm. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, check out all the other videos I've made, including vlogs, which are a little bit different to these types of videos, you get to see where I live and hear me speaking more naturally in context. But again, thank you for watching. Take care, all the best. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.